a surprise. This is the Hotchkiss front and rear sway bar kit for the BRZ and FRS. Today, we're finally installing them. Backtrack, I bought front and rear sway bars for the BRZ. $500, I spent 500 bucks on these sway bars. A year passed, I ended up losing all my hardware and Alina just found it. So this was my original hardware. That is more hardware. I actually had to buy $350 worth of hardware so I can do the kit again. It's been like two months now since I've had that hardware. Hotchkiss has one piece that's on back order. So I can't even do the kit yet, even though I bought all the stuff. So everything's paid for. I'm just waiting on a part from them. But she didn't know what I needed last night. She told me that she had found, possibly found my old Hotchkiss hardware. I'm gonna go through this bag. And if this plate is in there, I'm gonna be so happy because I've been waiting to do, plus I can return this and get my $350 back. So I'm, Ah, oh, okay. Oh, this is what I've been waiting for. This is it. Oh my God, I'm so stoked. That is literally all the hardware. So we'll do a quick install on this and we'll show, uh, I guess we'll rip in the canyon a little bit today, right? Yeah. And then we'll go to Sonic. 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 That's a wrap. That's a wrap! I don't know. You don't know? No. It's Hoonigans. Oh. All right, so the first step for this install is just to take off the brackets holding the actual sway bar together. The brackets all have four bolts each, two here, two back here, two and two on the other side. We'll drop those down, take the one bolt off each end of the sway bar end link at the bottom, and it'll come right out. Super simple, let's get started. Did you get the plastic clip on the side? Ah, plastic clips. Oh, look at Alina. You should do the install, not me. No. Yes, sir. <laughs> So our only steps for the rear, one bolt here, two bolts here, and one on the top of the arm. Pretty straightforward. Should be done in 20 minutes. All right, gotta drop the exhaust. They didn't say anything about dropping an exhaust. All right guys, so now we're up in Topanga Canyon. Lots of bikers, lots of Miatas, Porsches, Mustang, there's a Mustang right there. Lots and lots of race cars come here Saturday and Sunday. Excuse my short shorts. Woo, Woo! that was fucking loud. That scared me. <laughs> Testing out the new Hotchkiss sway bars, front and rear. This is amazing. Feels a lot more planted. Unfortunately, with all the uh, hype of this area, 
this canyon. Topanga leads in the Malibu Canyon, very popular area. As you can see, we have a lot of traffic right now. And of course, we got the uh, typical rental car Camaro convertible slowing everyone down. I'll start off saying this, we have bald front tires. For the entire week that I was driving this car, before the sway bars, the ABS light would kick on at like a 30 mile an hour turn. Now I'm doing 30 and doing S's, nice solid S's, and I'm getting no traction light, even though I still need front tires. If that doesn't say that these are working, I don't know what does. Turn in response feels really good. And coming out of the corners feels even fucking better. <laughs> oh, this feels awesome. So it does improve the cornering. I feel super planted. The biggest thing about this sway bar kit is that it's very confidence inspiring. I feel like I'm doing 15 miles an hour more than what I would normally drive this canyon on. I used to drive this canyon all the time. But it feels amazing. I I seriously wish I installed this years ago so I could play around with it. Right now we're at a, our stiffest in the front, second softest in the rear, and I don't know if I'm gonna change it. It's It feels like it's dialed in now. As of right this second, it's it's pretty good. I don't really know of anything else that's gonna improve the uh, handling of, of this. Not this majorly, at least. It's still amazing, though. Regardless of the tires, I can totally feel a difference in how the car performs. If you're looking to get a little bit more performance out of your FRS B or Z or 86, I definitely recommend these. It feels as if, like you know when you get your car and then you get coilovers and it's like, oh man, the car feels totally different. Like this is a, look at this little old lady. Gosh. Definitely feel a complete change of the car. It feels like I'm driving a different car, a better car. Well, Hotchkiss does make like the best stuff. Uh, it's got Heim joints. It's got the poly bushings. It's got everything that you want for performance. And then the adjustability makes it even better. What the hell is that? Galaxy. I wish there was a day specifically just for car enthusiasts to use this Canyon. That would be one of the greatest days in the world. It's like a day specifically, 20 bucks. Yeah. Someone's gotta start that. I think we're gonna get some new tires and we'll do a review on some tires. Right now we're running a 225.40 on a nine and a half inch wheel. I mean, it's not a huge stretch, but it's definitely not a meaty setup. We're gonna be buying some Cosmo Mucho Machos today. Wait, is that their real name? That's the real name. I they thought have, you were joking. No, that's their fucking name. <laughs> they have the Mucho Macho Sexy Beasts and then two other names that are super silly. ideas for slogans put it down below might turn it into a brand we'll figure something out keep uh, wrenching <gasps> let us know what you guys want to see next take it easy we'll see you next time